So before I give, uh, introduce the first speaker this afternoon, I would like to say a few words about Christoph and my memories of him. I met him first in uh, the winter 81 in uh, Karpach. Karpach is a small uh, ski resort above Wroclaw in Poland. And um, there was a winter school organized there. So uh, we met. And 81, you must realize, it was a few months before the coup. So at that time, the, the movement Solidarność was very active, was in fact inflaming all the poles. And I remember long discussions in the evenings, political discussions. Uh, the vodka was uh, flowing liberally, I would say. And Christophe was taking part, but with some moderation to both the political discussions and the vodka flow. Anyway, we made friends, and of course, we didn't realize that a few months later, thanks to Mr. Jaroselski, would be we become colleagues, in fact, in two neighboring institutes, Christophe in Bureau sur Yvette, IHGS, and myself in Saclay. So uh, that was a time in which uh, Christophe was working on things that were a bit away from my own interests, but still we managed to, to, to meet from time to time. And of course, these um, exchanges developed much in the late 80s when Christophe was working on conformity theory, as I did. We had very different approaches to the subject, so it was quite enriching to discuss with him. And um, I have very good memories of the time. We also met occasionally in uh, other places of the world, as we all do. I remember in particular the summer in Santa Barbara in 90, uh, where we spent one or two months, I forgot. And we had occasionally uh, a game of tennis. We were both of the same strength, which means mediocre. And we, uh, we, we played uh, once a week or twice a week. Usually, at the end of the set, uh, Christophe managed to, to beat me, to win, which I, found a bit, which I found a bit irritating, but it was so. And I think it just reflects the fact that he had more persistence. And then, uh, soon after, he left Bursurevet to, to Lyon. So, of course, we, we met less regularly, but still we exchanged mails and uh, phone, phone calls. And uh, I had, in fact, much uh, admiration, much respect for his ability to change subjects, something that I'm absolutely unable to do, and to switch from one thing to, to, to the other. And uh, so uh, I had a, a lot of admiration for that. And uh, what, what should I say? I'm speaking too much, so I should stop. Uh, let me just say that the of course, as all of us, the bad news that came from Lyon during the last, the, the, year, the, the previous year, in 2021, uh, were making me very, very sad, and things were getting from bad to worse. So at the end, I was really very shocked to hear that he had passed away. So I have a memory of someone who was a great scientist, and if I can sort of summarize I remember of him, I would say, elegance and probity, integrity, both on science, clearly, elegance and uh, integrity, that's obvious in his way of doing physics and math, but also in, in life. And uh, uh, Christophe was really someone that you could trust, both scientifically and in ordinary, ordinary life. So it, it was precious to, to know him and I miss him greatly, as we certainly all do. And, uh, well, okay, thank you. And I think it's time for that I, I stop and introduce David Carpentier, who will speak about, well, perganation from condensed matter to chaos space time. Thank you. Thank you, Jean-Bernard. 